Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, students, teachers, friends, wild things. Welcome to the student-led production of Where the Wild Things Are. Today, we have something special in store for you. The common activity is the actors perform for the audience. Not this time. This time, the audience is part of the cast. Now, I would like the first three or four rows to look under their chairs to see if they have a fern or a branch. Can you all please raise those ferns up? Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Keep them up, keep them up. Your role in this production is you are a forest. A forest in Max's wildest imaginations. We're going to do a quick exercise. Can you please swing your ferns from side to side? Okay. Now pretend you are a forest in a thunderstorm. Shake them like crazy. And back to normal. Okay, ferns down. Now, your cue, your time to participate in this play is when little Max bites his mother and then runs in to the forest. You take your ferns up and you start swaying from side to side until the music has ended. Is that clear? One more thing. In the original story of Where the Wild Things Are, little Max is sent to his bedroom without any supper, without any desserts. Not you guys. After this production, you will be allowed to gather some free food which have been prepared by the grade tens. I assure you, they are safe. Now, without further ado, please enjoy Where the Wild Things Are.
always on that stupid phone talking to that stupid boy. <gasps> no, we can't. We we're supposed to be at my dad that weekend. And this floor, Claire, I made it. Wait, can you hear that? <gasps> There's Apache Indians coming. Claire, you better be quick. Max, go play with your friends. Fine. You, go that way. <laughs> you, go that way. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. You're just a box. Go play with your box friends. Now move out. Oh, they're here. No one else to blame but yourself. You started this. Ow. Yes. <laughs> to Max. The owner of this world from dad. Hello, I'm home. Oh, Max, what's wrong? Claire and her stupid friends smashed my fort and they didn't do anything about it. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I would have done something. Max, what have you done? I have some work to do.
exactly, tell me exactly what Mr. Mathapati didn't like about the report. Phew, what? Integrate rather than differentiate? Oh my god. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so tired and there's been some stuff here at home. Okay, this will be my last time. I promise, I promise. Well, thank you. Hey, Max. Hi. Well, I could use a story. Hmm, okay, sure. There were some buildings, these really tall buildings. They could walk. And then there were some vampires. And one of the vampires bit the tallest building, and his fang fell off. And then his other teeth fell out. He started crying. <laughs> <laughs> His friends asked him, Why are you crying? Aren't those just your baby teeth? He said, No, these are my grown up teeth. So they all left him because they knew he could not be a vampire anymore. So he cried again. <laughs> 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 Oh, Max, what should we do with you? The sun is the center of our solar system. The sun! It is the reason all planets are here. The planets! Its sunlight gives us warmth, makes our planet livable. Yay! But of course, the sun won't always be here. It, like all things, it will die. And when it does, well, first, it'll expand and then envelop all the surrounding planets, including Earth. Calm down, calm down. The sun is just fuel burning ferociously. But when it does run out of fuel, the entire solar system will go dark permanently. I'm sure by that time, the world will have fallen to a number of world calamities. War! <coughs> Pollution! <coughs> Global warming! <coughs> Tsunamis! Earthquakes! <laughs> Meteors! <laughs> Kill me. 
But hey, who knows, right? Have a good weekend, class. Oops. I'm busy. That's lava. Huh? The lava's coming. Oh, oh, and it's a rocket ship, Mom. Do you want me to save you a seat? You know, thank you for inviting me to this wonderful dinner. I'm hungry already. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I better go make us some dinner. Thank you. Man, you look good. Hey, Max? What is that? It's pate. Frozen corn? What's wrong with the real corn? Well, frozen corn is real. Now, go tell your sister to clear her stuff off the table. Claire! Get your stuff out of the dining room table! Max, don't pull that now. I have a friend here. <laughs> Max, get down! We have a guest and you're embarrassing me! <laughs> Woman, feed me! Max, get down! <laughs> Max! Max, I said, get down from the damn table! <laughs> Come over here! <laughs> Stop it, Max! <gasps> Max! <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay? What happened to you? Max, you bit me! <laughs> he can't treat you like that! Doing things, and I don't like frozen. 
and corn. What? What? What is wrong with you, Max? Yeah. It's not my fault. You're out of control, Max. No, 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 no. Max. It's not worth it. Max. took my lucky break and I broke it in two. Put on my worried shoes. My worried shoes. Took me so many miles and they never wore out. My
I'm going to break those houses no, no, down. No, 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 you cannot do that. 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 You cann
they tried to attack my ice fortress. But I made it too strong. I told them to be still, but they didn't listen. So I had to conquer them. I had to make their heads explode. <gasps> and they knew I know all the secrets to the world. Ooh. And you know what happened? <laughs> they made me their king. Ooh. Oh, so you exploded their head? Yeah. Oh, come on, our heads are bigger. You can't explode big heads. No, no. Their heads are way bigger than yours, believe me. <gasps> you were a king? I knew there was something special about him. I told you guys. But he's so small. Small is good. My mm -hmm. powers are able to slip right through the cracks. Ooh. What if the cracks are closed up? I have a recracker that goes right through that. What if there's some sort of material that recrackers can't get through? Well, I have a double recracker that goes through any material in the whole universe. And there's no material material outside this universe that it can't get through. And that's the end, and there's nothing more powerful than that, and that's the end, period. Oh, he does sound powerful, Judith. He does. Mm, yeah, but there has to be some sort of... <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Sorry. So, you were the king and you made everything right? Yeah. Well, um, you know, what about the loneliness? What he's saying is, little what? thing, will you keep out all the sadness? Yeah. I have a sadness shield. Ooh. And it keeps out all the sadness. And it's big enough for all of us! <gasps> wow. I. Oh. Huh. Huh. I knew it! When he showed up, I saw it! Why don't you guys ever believe me? <sighs> all right, you are right. I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, you're so fluffy. Oh, I love you. Yeah. <gasps> That's scared of you! What? <gasps> oh, hi, kid of you! Oh, hey, kid of you! It's good to see you! What are you guys doing? Who's that? Uh, hey, kid of you! We got a king! You and me, we could go for a while, and, and you could carry me like a little baby. Oh, well, anyway. I don't even know if I'm sticking around. I just came back to, to get that one stick I left here. Did anyone see it? Uh, hey, hey, hey. Thank you. you. King, this way, Your Majesty, please. <laughs> I like it better when we have a king. I like Carol better when we have a king. Hey, what's happened to our houses? Oh, <laughs> obviously, they, they fell down. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. You are now the king. And you will truly be a great king. Oh, hey, look, it looks good on him, huh, king? King, king, king. <laughs> it looks perfect. We have a king. We got a king. Everything's going to be different now. Aru! Aru! Hey, king, what's your first order of royal business? Well, tomorrow we're going to build our houses. Oh. No, no! We're going to build a fantastic fort! Oh. And now, let the royal robots begin! Yeah.
I don't even know how everything got this way. Things seem better now, though. Oh, yeah. So, who are Bob and Terry? Oh, they are really good friends of mine. I don't even know how to describe them. They're just different from everybody here. So, what's your story? Why you come here? Oh, I'm an explorer. And I travel a lot. And I travel by sea. Oh, so obviously you have no home or family. Oh, I had one of those, but I... But you ate them all? No, no, I just bit one of them and they went crazy. And they act like I'm a bad person. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why you left? Yeah, and I don't like frozen corn. Well... I'm glad you came. It would be good to have someone around who doesn't eat everyone. I mean, you just bite everyone. Biters aren't so bad. Eaters are the one I just can't stand. I have no plan to eat anyone. Well, good. Well, good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, KW. Good night, Carol. Good night, Douglas. Good night. Good night, my darling. Good night, my love. Good night. Good, good night, night, Alex. Alex. Good night, everyone. Oh, good night, King. Good night, everyone. you up but I wanted to show you something oh okay look this used to be rock and now it's sand and then one day it's going to become dust and I don't even know what comes after dust Carol yeah did you know the Sun was gonna die what oh come on that can't happen Look at you, you're the king. Look at me. I'm big. How could guys like us worry about a tiny little thing like the sun? Um, look, Max, there's something that I wanted to show you. Oh, okay.
Wow! Did you make this? Yeah. I used to build forts for my mom. We were going to build a whole world like this. It was going to be where things you wanted to happen would happen. Carol, we, we can totally build up a place like that. Really? Yeah. I like your brain, Max. Psst. Hey, everyone. Everyone, wake up. Max is going to build us a fort. What? What? Yeah, so it's going to be as tall as 12 of you and six <gasps> of me. <gasps> and only we can get in there. Wow. And we'll have an ice cream parlor <gasps> and a swimming pool. Yeah. Oh, but I can't swim. And anyone that gets in there that we don't want there will get their brains cut out. Yes. Oh. Uh, hey, 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 hey. How do they know whose brain to cut out? And will we sleeping in a real pile in the middle of the fort? Does wow. anybody ever hear me? What do you think? I don't really think anything like this ever works, really. But if it did, I don't know. But I do like sleeping in a real pile. Carol, will you be in charge of building it? Me? Yeah. <gasps> um, uh, you should definitely be in charge, oh. Carol. Yeah, I know, but... You're I, the only one who could pull it off. I know, I KW, can. don't you think he should help? Yeah, he's the only one who can. Well, See? We all think it's a perfect idea. Yeah. Well, if you'd all want me, I'd be honored. Yeah! yeah. Let's get to work. Ideas, Max. I would like to come home, but what about my new friends, Bob and Terry? Why don't they come live with us? Bob, Terry, why don't you come live with us? We're building something great. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Right, Max? Um, well, what about Carol? He's Carol. I can like him and still be friends with Bob and Terry. Let's go pack our bag. We've all been working really hard on it. Mm. Uh, have you been talking to KW? <gasps> oh, yes. She introduced me to her new friends, Bob and Terry. Oh my god. Somebody is pissed <laughs> off. And they may even stay over. <laughs> oh, they are amazing. <laughs> Max, what's wrong with the fort? What? You said that if anybody went in here that we didn't want, the fort would automatically cut their brains out. Well, uh, I thought about that, but <laughs> I kind of decided that it's not right. If we know them, they should keep their brains. I think you should apologize to Bob and Terry. <laughs> I don't apologize to owls. They're stupid. <gasps> Carol, that's hateful. Why did you bring them here? They're not living in the fort. They're not sleeping in the pile. 
<laughs> you haven't changed, Carol, and this is why I left the first time. It's all wrong. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I knew this was going to happen. <gasps> Whoa, what was going to happen? The fort. We've got to tear the fort down. What? We were supposed to sleep in a real pile, and then you bring those stupid owls who only Alex understands. And, and now I have to worry if the sun is going to die. Look, it never came up. No, it's not dead. It's just nighttime. How do you know? I can't trust what you say. Everything keeps changing. Come on, Douglas, we're bringing we're it down. We're not ripping the fort down. <gasps> you were supposed to take care of us, and you didn't. I'm sorry. That's not good enough. Uh, both of you, enough. He's just a boy, pretending to be a wolf, pretending to be a king. That's not true. He is just like us. No. I just went along with it because I knew you wanted it so much. All right? Yeah. Oh, you're out of control! I am not out of control. You were supposed to take care of us. You didn't. I am going to eat you! No. No. You're out of control! Let go of me! No! You were going to eat him! No! No, I wasn't going to! Let go of me! Stay still! I don't know! I just said it! Am, am I as bad as he says I am? I just wanted for all of us to be together! He doesn't mean to be that way. He's just scared. He loves you all. You're his family. Yeah, I guess. I wish you guys had a mom. Mom? I'm going home. So, whatever happened to you and the Vikings? In the end, I had to leave. Why? Because I'm not a king. <gasps> Or a Viking. <gasps> or anything. <gasps> no. No, you're not. What are you? I'm Max. Hey, Max. Yeah? When you go home, will you say good things about us? Yeah, I Thank will. Thank you. <laughs> well, you're the first king we haven't eaten. Don't go! I'll eat you up! I love you so! Aww.
Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank... Uh, could we open the curtain and see the cast, please? I give them another round of applause. This is our first full MIP performance in terms of musical collaboration between the arts, the music, the theater, and visual arts. So, uh, Mr. Martin, Mr. George, and uh, Mr. Clint, who is the uh, director of this whole show. Where is he? Mr. Clint? Where are you? <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Clint. A lot of time and effort. Would you, Mr. George, would you come up and receive a bouquet, please? Mr. Martin, <laughs> Mr. Martin, would you come up, please? <laughs> Thank you. I'd like uh, Mr. Clint to say a few words uh, to give us an idea of how this whole thing evolved into such a magnificent performance today. Mr. Clint. Thank you, James. Uh, firstly, um, I'd like to say uh, a big thank you to, the, to our tech boys upstairs who have worked really hard, and uh, cheers guys. <clears throat> very, very quickly, um, I was taking out the trash and, uh, in my condo, and I found that someone had thrown a, a picture book away. And the book was um, Where the Wild Things Are. It was a little bit stained, but it wasn't too bad. And I hate to see books thrown away. So I, I pulled it out of the trash and I kept it. And I thought, maybe I could use that for something. And then during the uh, October break, I thought, uh, let's see if we can turn it into a stage play um, with Mr. George. And so I wrote it from the book and from the film and from the music and George and his uh, great little band here worked on the music and we met after school but don't be misled my actors also play football they play they, they swim they play volleyball they play basketball they don't always come to rehearsal uh, that makes them unique and I think that uh, you could see today that Despite all of their commitment, they showed uh, a great deal of energy today, and I have to say that you were a terrific audience. I thought you made a great forest, so you should give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, forest. And, uh, and finally, you know, uh, as a production exercise, the IB theatre class and uh, with the guidance and help from uh, Mr. Martin, um, the IB Theatre guys, Kenneth, Pat, and <laughs> Kenneth, uh, <laughs> Pat, and Penn, uh, really have never worked so hard to coordinate everything. So well done to those guys. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, everyone. Another round of applause for the cast, the band, Mr. Clint, Mr. George, Mr. Martin, everybody involved. And now, you have a treat because the entire grade 10 class spent the entire day yesterday uh, looking at the culinary endeavors to make all the food that is available outside. Cream, leave it alone. Okay, so thank you all for coming. We hope to have some more fabulous performances as time goes on. And thank you all for being here. Please go and have something to eat. <laughs>